Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we've got a start of a long-term project. So I've never really been big into the side of the hobby which is related to doing trucks and stuff. I just happened to come across this in my local model shop, second hand of course, at a reasonable price of £250. And I thought, you know what? I'll have that. What we've got in front of us is a Tamiya Grand Hauler. This is kind of sight for sore eyes for anyone who's into trucks. It is missing a few bits, i.e. there should be a door here to cover where the battery should go. It hasn't got the fenders because I've already passed them on to someone else and these aren't the original tyres because I've already changed them. I'd like to say thank you to Justin from the Norwich Model Boat Club for helping me source a few parts for this already. So, like I said this is going to be a long term running project so there's going to be a couple of build videos on this. And you may say be wondering why you say build videos when it's assembled right in front of me. Plan is to strip it down uh, and rebuild it, first of all. Because the original owner cannot build cannot build diffs to save their lives. So if I turn this set of wheels forwards. It probably doesn't help right it's on the opposite side. But these wheels are spinning backwards. So you'd expect if you uh, push it on the back here for it to roll forwards. Nope. Wheels have locked up. Uh, another. I've spotted a couple of issues with the gearbox, i.e., when I tried to power it up for the first time and drive it. One of the bearings fucking flew out because a bit of plastic was the wrong way around in the gearbox. So it had pretty much never been used from the looks of it. And I can see the reason why, because it didn't or it wouldn't drive forwards in the first place. So what my plan is, like I said, is to rebuild it. But what I want to do is log lorry. So to save myself from buying trailers, because A, I don't have the space for one. This literally has just got one perfect spot in my room which it fits in. So to save myself from buying trailers, we're getting rid of this fifth wheel set up on it. And what we're going to do is, probably sacrilege to a few people, cut the sleeper cab off and then just do a log lorry style back on it. And another thing, I've seen, seen files for it online, not really seen anyone do it yet. I, again, new, new to this side of the hobby, but I want to make it six wheel drive. And should know me by now, it's not going to be babied. I am going to use it in mud, I am going to use it in water. So that's another thing, re or, or that's another reason why I'm rebuilding it, just to make sure everything's waterproof and ready for it. So I think that's enough talking for just now. Let me start by stripping this down. Let's go.
So I don't know if I said it in the intro, but one of the other things I found out when it was powered on is that bushing right there in the back of the gearbox fucking shot out when I fired it up first time. Because this plastic plastic bit is actually mounted the wrong way around in the gearbox. So I was hoping I didn't have to touch the gearbox, but it appears I'm going to have to take it apart, which is going to be fun. But the other other fun bit is I said about making it six wheel drive. So what we've got here is a gear pinion, which is the same pitch as these gears from an SCX10 gearbox. But it's also it's a five mil shaft, so it should theoretically should theoretically fit on the output of that. So I just need to make a transfer case on the back side of the gearbox. The only issue I see with that is I'm going to lose ground clearance because I'm adding a gear down here. So what I was thinking is I dug through my parts box and I dug out these. If you don't know what these are, these are motherboard standoff screws which happen to be M3 threaded. The same as all the holes in the frame rail. So I thought, alright, if I unbolt the ones from the gearbox, put these underneath, and then put the gearbox on top, that would lift it. But then that brings into a whole different can of worms. If I was to do that, the gearbox is pretty much just a couple millimeters off the top on its interior. So I could either get rid of the interior, but then the interior is also a body mount. So I'm thinking I may have to do, possibly buy a second one of these interiors as a backup, just in case if I mess it up. But I think I'm gonna cut out the floor on it and lift the gearbox up, which would help with the next step about a bigger motor on it.
So, the axles are now rebuilt. Some of you may have actually just seen me have actually just locked them as well by putting an extra gear in the diff so they've now locked. Like I said, I'm not planning to baby it, I'm planning to off-road it. And at the moment, can't afford locking rear differentials. So I'm gonna go with the second best thing, which is manually lock them. And if I wanna unlock them, all I need to do is remove that gear. I've also switched out the lithium grease or whatever the hell that white stuff is for some marine grease because again, it's going to be off-roaded. It's probably going to end up through water and mud. So I'd rather have some grease which will stay where it is than move about. So, next thing on the list is these shocks. Someone has fucking greased up the inside and it's just leaking out of them and one of them is missing the head on it. So, need to rebuild. So let's get to it. So, we've now got an actual rolling chassis, which rolls, unlike how it was originally set up. Another little thing I did, but off camera, was I re removed the uh, bump stops from the rear axles. Just because 
it was pretty much sitting on the bump stops anyway, so there was no no suspension travel in it. But now it's not the most flex, but it get it does flex a tiny bit more than what it originally did. Which to be honest I'm happy with. That's that's enough for what it needs. So I think the next thing is gonna be the gearbox. Right, so next thing to tackle is the gearbox. It feels like it runs smoothly, it feels like it shifts in all all three gears. The only issue is both of these are the wrong bloody way. Because if I get on the input, sh or if I get on that shaft there, give it a little push. Come on camera, focus. Yeah. Let's just push that out of the gearbox. Same with the top one. When I first tried to drive it, the uh, brass bushing in there decided to come flying out.
So we're back, we've got the gearbox in. I kind of wired this off camera because, well, uh, if my camera focused, that was not a fun task to uh, try and wire that like little loop in place. So I've tested it. Gearbox works nicely. Differentials work nicely. Only issue is, the servos which came with the lorry. They're both analog and they uh, buzz and warm up a little bit I found and that was just from running it around on the floor. So next step is sorting out the cab. So I cannot remember if I've said it because I've been filming this over a week now but the plan is for it to be a log lorry so that's why I just, I'm not going to bother putting the fifth wheel hitch back on it so with this now I'm going to take the sleeper cab and cut it off so I've taken the exhaust stacks off because I've traded the original ones which came with it with my friend for these because I prefer the look of the perforated heat shield on them than just the uh, silver stacks so I've got to cut the back off I've also got to prep the front and rear bumper I think the front one because there's no way in hell I'm gonna get it back to being chrome because it has already originally been painted. I think the front one, I'm gonna do like the hazard chevron markings on it. I'm gonna spray paint them on it. May be easier to do it than anything. Uh, the rear ones, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with yet, but I've mounted them and the mud flaps on it. That's currently just pure black at the moment, so I feel like that's gonna need to be painted. And I've also got the front ones to go on, which mount about there, but I don't have the correct hardware which fits in this to bolt it on just yet. So maybe have to take a little trip out to the store at some point to go get the correct hardware. I think these will be repainted probably black as well. Alright, let's get to it.
Okay, well, I think this episode is done. If not, it's going to drag out. I'm having a strange feeling when I edit this. It's going to be about 40, 45 minutes long. And I said I wouldn't, wasn't going to drag it out for too long. So, to end episode 1, chassis, gearbox, differentials have all been rebuilt. The cab has been cut, but the reason why I'm ending the episode now is mainly due to the cab. So the uh, sun, sun strip fell off it which uncovered all this super glue. So there's super glue residue on the glass on the top of the cab here. And there's also super glue residue on the bonnet there. And part of me really being OCD is now just thinking, strip it all down, sand it back and paint it. Oh, and another bonus where the exhaust stacks bolt, bolt on and my camera focuses uh, the plastic has actually cracked so yeah I think what I'm going to do now like I said, end the episode I'm going to bolt the cab up I'm going to bolt the fuel tanks and whatever and the steps on it go outside get a photo for the thumbnail and call it quits from this episode for you, it's gonna be one. This is just gonna be like a less, probably under an hour long video. For me, this has been going on for a while now. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see the next ep episode. Hit the bell notification. It should tell you when it comes out. I'm hoping. It will probably be. I've got one other Facebook Marketplace Find video, and then hopefully the second part is going to be out after that. And that should be repainting this cab, painting the bumper up, and um, maybe. Don't know if I can, if I feel like doing it all in one episode. Maybe making a start on the on the log rack. I know I've still got to paint up and sort out the rear bumper on it, but yeah. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe, so on. And thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>